Hey you guys, Lady T here from Romance Review TV. And I kind of wanted to touch this subject because this has been going on between both shows, Married at First Sight UK, Married at First Sight San Diego, with uh, both Jonathan from the UK side and Mitch from the USA side have their preferences and... Yeah, it didn't sit well this week with a lot of the fans, but there were mixed opinions. And I kind of wanted to talk about this and also start a discussion with you guys as well. So before we do this, I want you guys to take a second to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel to receive all updates. And please don't forget to like and share. So we're going to unpack all of this. And uh, I also want to know what you guys think. So we're going to first start off with Jonathan and Sophie. So Jonathan and Sophie is one of the couples that were married on the Married at First Sight Season 7 UK side. And um, they had their up and down moment at the beginning of the season. However, on the honeymoon, they really, really started to come together. However, when they got amongst the group of the other couples... One of the comments that really came out and didn't sit too well with the group was his comments first starting saying, you know, how his wife goes out and work out. However, she works out with two of the other gentlemen that are coupled up or married to other cast members. And her husband is saying, you know, hey, go have fun at the gym, but please, you know, don't do too much because I don't want you to have what is called horse legs. Now, I guess what he's referring to is legs that are just too big, too muscular, okay? And, um, you know, I guess, you know, here's the thing. When it comes to that, usually the muscles are differently when it comes to men and women. So who's to say that she would even bulk up like he's thinking in his head? But that was one of the comments that was said. Well, it goes on even further because now when he had gotten to the dinner party, there was this whole conversation about um, the fact that he likes the weight that Sophie is at currently. And she even says, you know, she liked to maintain her own weight. However, he said that he wouldn't find her as attractive if she put a lot of weight on, hinting that, you know, she would need to remain a certain size over the course of the relationship. And during that commitment ceremony that they had in episode number 19, uh, Jonathan was grilled about his comments. He was defending himself. He told the rest of the group because they have a commitment ceremony like every week. It's different than the U.S. side. And he's like, look, you guys, if you truly know me as a person, I say things in jest. I know in my head that I didn't mean it in a negative way. It was just a jokey comment. And, um, you know, he says that he still struggles with understanding where the insult was because it was an opinion and it wasn't aimed directly at Sophie. And then Sophie then added, yeah, but it could be difficult to hear that type of thing. And, you know, Jonathan was told by the experts that he lacked emotional intelligence um, are you going to go through life apologizing for how other people feel? That was his thought. And he said that he made mistakes. I've caused offense to other people. And, you know, I do apologize for that. But, you know, even throughout that, Jonathan and Sophie both decided to stay and work on their marriage. Jonathan also said, for me, it's trying to find that intensity and if it can come or where it's going to come from, you know, he takes that very seriously. But at the end of the day, for me, it's about his marriage. Now, a lot of the fans who, you know, he he has a good guy, you know, persona, right? And none of us know him. However, a lot of the fans, you know, some of them were coming out saying, you know, hey, I thought you was a nice guy. Why are you, uh, quote unquote, fat shaming? Um, people are telling Sophie to run, get out while she still have some sense of beautiful, vibrant, and being a driven woman, uh, when she entered the experiment and she don't want Jonathan to break her down. I mean, they don't want Jonathan to break her down. How can you go through life without empathy? Different things about that. Um, there are other folks that is saying he has a preference. 
you know, I mean, and here's the thing in life. Everybody has a preference. His preference is the type that really don't sit well with other people. Uh, you know, a lot of times that's been, especially with body positivity, that's been an ongoing conversation for a long period of time now. And so when, you know, people have their opinions about weight, people tread very carefully when it comes to that. And in this particular situation, he said, look, that's my opinion. How can I be upset that, um, oh, how can you guys be upset with me that that's my opinion about what I like, you know, but I mean, it turned real ugly in that commitment ceremony, but at the end of the day, she did stay with him. So I find that interesting because, um, I know that I've seen, I watch a lot of different dating and reality type shows or even dating independent content. And a lot of times you'll see, you know, on the flip side, you'll see women saying that I won't date a, a heavy set man. They, they wouldn't date a fat man. And I think it's taken differently when, you know, women say it versus when a man say that about a woman, what it comes down to is preference and, um, It's how you deliver that, though. It's one thing if you say, hey, I like cake, and then say, I don't like your cake. Oh, I don't like any other people to have a cake like this. So, I mean, listen, I kind of wanted to survey and kind of get an idea. But before I even try to go off into a monologue, let's talk about what Mitch from the U.S. version had to say as well about his wife, Kristen. So now with Kristen and Mitch, Mitch was one of the grooms who married Kristen on the Married at First Sight season 15 San Diego season that's currently happening right now as well. Now in the beginning, I will say that Mitch had brought up very early about his level of attraction to his wife. He doesn't like all of the dressing up and the big dresses and the makeup and the everything that usually women do to, you know, curl their hair and put on all the makeup and stuff. He wants a more natural approach. And as much as they've had upheavals in the beginning, they have been working to get their marriage in a good place up until this last episode that we saw called The Ugly Truth, which was episode number 13 that just happened on Wednesday, the 28th. Now, with this particular couple, what really kicked this into high gear this past couple days is when um, Mitch spoke to Kristen's sister uh, about the marriage. So while they were talking, he approached a subject that he had been too nervous to address with his wife. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I guess he stopped talking about it, but he didn't want to bring it back up again. Now, he explained that he is most attracted to Kristen when she looks more natural without makeup or straightened hair. And he asked for advice on the best way to tell Kristen from her sister. Now, her sister is ready for this question. She defends Kristen's right to choose on how she looks. Now, she explained that women aren't always presenting themselves for male attention. Oftentimes, it's how they feel most comfortable. Now, she worries that if Mitch mentions this, it'll appear that he doesn't fully accept Kristen. And this is, you know, especially important considering how initially there was this whole thing about it as well in the beginning. Now, of course, like a good sister, Stephanie warns Kristen about the conversation she had with Mitch. During this group outing that they had, Alexis brought up the whole thought about his wife looks and questioned if he was actually over that. Now, given that Kristen had already spoken to her sister in conversation, you know, I'm wondering, was this an opportunity that she asked Alexis to bring it up or did she bring it up on her own? Initially, Mitch says that he doesn't remember saying that, which he had already dug himself in a hole by that point, by just that statement. But then eventually admits that he wanted someone who looked earthier. Now, Kristen goes off about how she deserves a man who's excited about her and isn't constantly trying to change her when the experts try to minimize the whole weight of his comment of his actual comments because they came in as well. 
Um, you know, and there are some folks that saying, you know, don't let Mitch cause you to second guess your beauty, who you are as a person, you know, and, um, if he isn't the one, then there's somebody else out there. And she's, I think she even said that about herself. And a lot of people was, you know, happy about the fact that she stood up for herself and, you know, call his behavior toxic. Um, now I, like I say, I always gauge the comment section. I kind of want to get a feel on hot topics like this on what people had to say. Now, there are a lot of people that was pissed at Mitch. Like, who are you to try to change her? Who do you think you are? You're no better with your dirty diss in the house. Cause we saw his house early in the season and all of these different things, um, you know, and then the whole situation of her wanting to run a business, flipping houses was an issue for him too. He's a very ultra environmentalist, meaning that he tries to save the world. He doesn't, he loves recycling, don't want the misuse of paper products. I think even on the after party, if you watched that this past Wednesday, there was a conversation about her and her menstrual cycle and what type of pads that she used and he was saying you know choose what you wish but at the same time you know be mindful of maybe what you use and things like that so yeah that didn't sit well with the fans either because they didn't like the fact he was trying to keep her from using certain products for feminine use okay but going back to this other things this particular subject was split down the middle because I don't know if you caught my recap. Um, if I said, if my significant other say, Hey, I think you look absolutely beautiful, natural. I have no problem with that. It takes me a minute and some sweat to put on makeup. So if he said, you really don't need that much and you looking good, I'm okay with that, but I'm not everybody that I'm not Kristen. Kristen's not me or any of the other women out there. Right. Um, at the same time, there were other women on so on Facebook who was like, hey, I think that's a compliment. He's telling you, you look naturally beautiful and you don't have to put on the makeup, the lashes, the eyeshadow and all of that. I don't see a problem with it. There were a ton of people that said that. And I think even Dr. Pepper said that as well, that she would have took, taken that as a compliment. However, other people in the fan base thought that this is Mitch trying to change her. Now, I did see a very interesting comment, and I want to know what you guys think about this. She wants her husband to be attracted to her. He tells her what makes him attracted to her, and what it is is being natural, and she says, no, I don't want to do that. So some people were saying, okay, if you want him to be attracted to you and he's telling you what attract makes you attracted to him and you say, well, I don't want to do that. I want to keep doing what I'm doing. Some folks was like, then you get whatever outcome that comes from that. Other people were saying, no, no, no. You don't tell a woman what to do with their body. They want to look good. They want to feel good. You got to let them have that. I always talk about interdependency because there's some things that Mitch need to do as well to dial some things back. His ultra environmentalist lifestyle, he has to adjust with somebody that doesn't really live that type of life. Kind of like we have in a situation on the UK side with a person who has a vegan lifestyle that's a meat eater. Somewhere along the line, you two are going to have to meet in the middle. So... It's going to be interesting to see where these two head forward. I don't know if they're going to stay together. In my opinion, I don't think so. But I also wanted to bring these two subjects to the table to see what you guys think. Do you think these are just opinions and preferences? Or do you think that they are very rude, offensive things to either say out to a group or to their spouses? So I wanted to get the conversation started with you guys and, you know, give me your thoughts. Let me know. I want to see what you guys feel about what happened on both shows. And um, also, if you haven't checked it out, I do also uh, post the recaps for the UK version as well as the US version.
Okay, so as I said before, let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What do you think about these two? And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye.